All right, here we are on the battle map. Let's start deployment. Okay, so, a bit of background on the units in our army first. First off, we have the Hastadi. Hastadi were traditionally the youngest men in the early Roman army, and I do have to note, this is the early Roman Republic. This is not, you know, the Imperial Rome where they have the, the Lorica Segmentata, you know, the fancy steel armor, like the plate-looking armor, and their gladius swords. Uh, this is when they were sort of fighting, like, hoplites in a lot of ways. They uh, took most of their warfare style from uh, their Greeks. So we have the Hastati. They're the youngest men in the army, and also the uh, poorest, the not wealthiest men. Um, they still usually own some land, you know, some property, some amount of funds, but they're certainly not terribly wealthy. The Hastati make up the first line of the Roman formation. Then we have the Principes. Principes are older, more experienced, and they're going to be better equipped and more wealthy. And you can sort of see that just in their equipment. Most of them have armor. If you go look at the Hastati, uh, most of them don't. Since a worthwhile note, the Principes make up the second line of the Roman formation. And third, we have the Triarii. I explained a bit about the concept of going to the Triarii in my uh, first video of Divide et Impera. These men are our anchors. They make up the third line of the formation. They are the wealthiest and the most experienced. You can tell by their equipment. They fight much more like traditional hoplites in much closer formations. Uh, these guys are damn good uh, fighters. They know what they're doing. And of course, they make up a third line. If things are going well, you don't even have to use your tree, are you? I'm not sure if I have a checkerboard formation. Yeah. I wish I could demonstrate this for you guys. Sometimes the game uh, will put them in the proper formation for you. Hang on. Let me see if I can show off the way they're supposed to look historically. So, um, historically speaking, they would fight in something called a checkerboard formation. Wherein, it's something a bit like this. I can angle it right. It's probably not quite right. But basically, imagine there's another unit over here. Um... There were these natural gaps in the formations where, you know, th theoretically enemies could flow through and the Principes could take care of them. A couple ways to handle this. The Hastati can go in first. If they break, the Principes can support them. If things are going well, they can support them anyways. Principes can go around, you know, surround the enemy. Uh, and of course, the Triarii are our anchors, as I said before. So, this is how we'll roll with this battle formation. It's pretty deep. It's got a lot of depth to it, as opposed to, say, like a Macedonian phalanx line, which is basically just going to be one big line of infantry, supported by some ranged units and such. I don't like how this looks aesthetically, so I'm going to switch it up, <laughs> even though this isn't as historically accurate. There we go. And let's see, we've got a couple of Equite units. Uh, Equites were definitely your wealthiest men. These are... These guys are super fucking wealthy. Cavalry, historically, has always been made up of wealthy people. And we have a couple of levies. These are just light infantry yahoos who are basically just here to get shot. Okay. And we'll put our general at the back. General does not lead the charge. Not his job. His job is to not die. We are on the offensive, 
So we are going to be moving forward towards them. Whoops. I uh, just... I hit a button. Oops. Pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> I hit J. I meant to hit uh, K. Wrong button. It happens. Home row has failed me again. It's fine. I'll just manually make sure everyone's moving to their correct positions. Take a look at them as they move. Stadi, Principe, Triarii. Now, one of the interesting things you're going to see here is that in Rome 2 Vanilla, weaker units are totally useless. Like these Hastati, I wouldn't even bother bringing them into battle. I'd bring nothing but Principes and Triarii. But in Divide et Impera, there are definitely, you know, unit strengths and weaknesses, but all units are going to have some use, even weaker ones. He's scouting with his general here, Mr. Lucius. I think he spotted my cavalry. That's unfortunate, but oh well. I was hoping to keep them hidden. He has some uh, Italian equites. So we're about even on the cavalry front. Uh, we're definitely superior to them on the infantry front, which is great. But I think they have superior positioning over us, which is uh, which is sad to say the least. Let's go ahead and move up and rotate the army so it's facing our opponent a bit better. Pull our cavalry back a bit. I don't, I'm not sure what they're attempting precisely. Let's have my units run so they can get up there a little quicker. Except for the general. I believe they have their own sort of form of Hastati, as well as some. Um, let's see. I thought I saw swordsmen. Hoplite, Etruscan Hoplites, Etruscan Mercenaries. I see, they're the, these Inciferi, but they have the, uh, they have Javelins. That's what they're holding. Those aren't spears, they're too short. That's gonna hurt. I think we have Javelins as well, though. So we should be fine. Tit for tat, we'll trade. I don't like their position. It's too far to the right of us. It's annoying me. Here, warm up like that. They are going to be on top of a hill. It's not ideal. Let's speed up time a bit. Their army appears to be a bit confused. I would be too, I'm sure. Speed up time some more. I see they're trying to form a front on that hill. And they're about done with it. Let's uh, rush up a little faster, make them uncomfortable. Okay, you've decided to attack my equites with your general. It's an interesting choice. It's technically a valid one. You can do that. I see them moving their cavalry to my left flank. I'll move a unit of Triarii over there just in case. We're surrounding the general unit. And sending my own general to counter. Uh, ideally, we can snipe his general. And turn the music down just a tiny bit. It's being a little dramatic. These uh, men have crashed into my Hastati unit. That's fine. Okay, don't chase them. Here comes their, their main frontal charge. Jupiter gives us strength. Indeed. We're going to counter charge them. You always want to get your charges in. Just send that unit of Triarii after their Equites. I'm sure they'll counter them effectively. Let's have my general inspire my Equites. Okay. They have sent some of their spearmen into the fight with my Equites. They will overwhelm them given enough time, so I'm going to send some of my men to counter that. Go in there, pr Principes. Battle's going relatively well so far. Alright. Here's our counter to them sending infantry to kill our horsemen. 
All right. Let's send some Principe in to start supporting these Hastati. In the meantime, these Principe, I'm going to have them flank on the left side. These horsemen are getting on my fucking nerves. There we go. You flank here. And you move into support, and you move into support as well. We may have to go down to the Triarii. We have yet to snipe their general. This unit of Equites is not doing too well either. Hmm. Just using some of my general abilities to uh, intimidate the opponents, make it more likely for them to run away. Okay. My uh, counter charge with my infantry looks like it's working so far. All right, their general is running from the battlefield. Excellent. Without that morale support from the general, they are their troops are in general more likely to run away. I'm gonna advance my three units of Triari I have in reserve here and uh, see if we need them. We may not. There we go. I think we may have killed the general. It's possible. I'm gonna pull my general out now. And I think I'm gonna pull this wounded unit of Equites out as well. They're not doing too well. Most of my Hastati are doing okay. That's. Oh, this fucking unit of Equites, man. They're using them well, for sure. To be sure. Using them just to wheel and do separate charges. This unit right here of Hastati may need some support. We'll move my Triari in for that. Actually, let's move my Equites around, and if this unit of Italian Equites gets away again, we'll send my own Equites. In the meantime, let's have my general flank their entire army. Sounds fun. We're seeing a lot of uh, breaking units here from the Etruscans. They're certainly losing. But we need to deliver a decisive blow to bring the battle to a close. We did take out their uh, their cavalry. Excellent. And here we go. Their left flank has completely crumbled. And now we're going to roll up all the way to the right flank, to their center. Just a basic, basic uh, envelopment. The study aren't feeling too hot, but they're still in the fight. Alright, who is not high in morale right now? Who's feeling like running already? These Velites and Italian Swordsmen are not feeling too good. Let's charge them from the rear. Get them, guys! Get them, guys! Boom! They're about ready to break. There they go. That frees up this unit of Hastati. And I am going to throw in my Triari. It's not 100% necessary at this stage. But we're going to do it. Uh, I'm hoping to break some of these units. Might have... I'm, I think I'm just going to have my general mop up some of those broken units over there. How are these Equites doing? I'm going to pull them out of that fight. They're fighting spearmen. I'd rather them not. Okay. How's everything looking? Let's uh, have this unit of Equites also help with the mopping up. Uh, these units are broken, but they're not shattered. Uh, so they can still technically come back and rally and keep fighting us. Rather that not happen. Uh, that's a unit that's worth chasing down. You guys handle that one. Make sure you guys finish off these Italian Hastati. We're just mopping up at this point. They're about done. It's just these last, it's just this last little clump of troops that is hanging in there. Looks like they're centered around these uh, Etruscan mercenaries. They're still in pretty strong formation, all things considered. In fact, one of my Hastati units is not doing well and I'm gonna pull them out. Yeah, they don't need to take any more casualties. You don't want any one of your units uh, to be too wounded to be able to fight in the next battle. 
Right now, these are kind of acceptable losses across my Hastati, and if anyone is taking casualties in my army, it's okay for the Hastati to take them. They're the most expendable units uh, after my levies. Alright. Those Italian swordsmen are about to run away. There, there they go, and the last unit is the Etruscan mercenaries, and they are gone as well. Oh, no, we still got these Italian Hastati. They're still up somehow. Make them have a bad day, Equites. Thank you. The general is over here picking off the remains. Jupiter gives us strength, indeed. I don't know if you guys can chase this study down. Oh, that's it. Uh, we could quit the battle right now. We could quit the battle, but we need to chase these men off of the field. Uh, the reason for doing so is, of course, because they will still be alive if we don't kill them now. Did I just see horses die? I'm sorry, did someone die? I could have sworn I saw this horse right here die just now. You should not be taking casualties from chasing routing units. I hope I did not see that. Where are you? It's mainly that one that's left. And just for funsies. Reform the army! <laughs> Speed up time a bit. 